as straight as you can so you're feeling the stretch on the right side of the body if you need to get me into the big screen just click on my image Olga and then go on to the bottom left corner on the three dots and pin me in inhale come back to the center right hand behind you left hand over the right knee inhale suck the belly in lengthen the spine exhale twist towards your right chin parallel to the floor and you're looking towards your right shoulder in and into the count of five exhale into the count of five again achieve 70 to 80 percent we're warming up at the moment so you definitely don't want to go to the end of end of your range of movement inhale come back to the center exhale left hand behind you right hand over the left knee inhale suck the belly in lengthen the spine exhale twist towards your left don't lean on your arms just use your arms to twist towards your left chin parallel to the floor and you're looking towards your left shoulder and then on the next inhale come back to the center let go of the block place it somewhere where you can grab it easily throughout the class come on your fours hands directly underneath the shoulder shoulder width apart the knees directly underneath the hips, hip width apart, top of the feet on the mat. On the next inhale, you're looking forward, curve the back towards the floor, push the bum out. Exhale, curve the back towards the ceiling. Start pushing your bum towards your hands and you're engaging your abdominals, looking down towards your knees. Inhale, look forward, curve the back towards the floor. The belly is relaxed in this stage. And exhale, curve the back towards the ceiling and push the bum towards your hands, engaging the abdominals. Two more following your breath. Inhale into the count of five, you do one movement. Exhale into the count of five, you do the other one. Okay, and then on the next inhale, you're coming back into a neutral position. Tuck your toes under and on the exhale, push the bum up towards the ceiling, looking down towards your feet. On the next inhale, you're bending the left knee, transferring the weight onto the right leg. On the exhale, bend the right knee, transferring the weight onto the left. And then just do it nice and slowly so you give yourself enough time to start gently opening up the back of the legs. Lengthening the breath. And then on the next inhale, looking towards your hands, bend the knees, start walking your feet towards your hands. Once you've reached the hands, keep your feet hip width apart, grab hold of the opposite elbow, inhale, look forward, lengthen the spine, exhale, bend the knees, fold forward, let go of the head. You can rest your torso on the thighs, just make sure you're letting go of the head. You're using the weight of the head to sort of lengthen the back, especially the top part. Now nod your head a couple of times, making sure you're letting go of the head. Turn your head right and left. If you want, you can straighten the legs now if you want to. And then bring your torso towards the right leg and then the left. Try not to bounce. Get to a point where you're feeling a gentle stretch and stay there. And then on the next inhale, Come back to the center, let go of the hands on the floor, tuck your chin under, bend the knees, and exhale, you're coming all the way up into a standing position, head last to come up. Come to the top of the mat, big toes are touching, mountain pose, and then I'm gonna read you the disclaimer. So spread the toes as much as you can with the big toes touching, distribute the weight into the middle of your feet, so you're not leaning too much on the toes, neither on your heels. Pull the kneecaps up, Tuck your pelvis under, so you want to re-engage the lower pelvic abdomen, ab abdomen by tucking the pelvis under. Suck the belly in, open the chest, tuck the chin under, arms by your sides with the fingers pointing down towards the floor. And then reconnect with the breath, become aware of the core muscles being engaged as you're doing this. If you're not feeling the lower part, tuck your pelvis under a little bit more. And then when you're participating in any exercise or exercise program, you incur the possibility of injury to yourself. If you voluntarily engage into this class, you're taking full responsibility for any injuries that you may incur. Okay, so place your hands in front of your chest. Close your eyes for a second. Set an intention for today's class. And also, I'm just trying to suggest you 
that you want to focus your mind as well as training your body in this class. So try to focus your mind into any part of the body that feels stiff as you're doing the poses and direct the nice and long breath into that area, sort of trying to surrender to the uh, pose. So you're trying to relax that part of the body and see what happens. And this is almost like a meditation in movement, okay? Now open your eyes, we're gonna do three sun salutations. The first one we're gonna do together at a basic level, and then you choose whatever level you want to do, but I'm gonna go up one level at a time, okay? Inhale, bring your hands up towards the ceiling, look up at the hands, suck the belly in. On the exhale, you're folding forward at the hips, placing your hands on the shin, the ankle, or the mat. So you don't want to be in this position, you want to push the chest forward, bending at the hips. On the next inhale, press through the hands, look forward, lengthen the spine. Exhale, bend the knees, hands on the mat, step the right leg out into a lunge, left leg to meet into a high plank. We're coming and setting the plank. So you're bringing your shoulders above the wrist, you're pushing the heels away from you, tucking your pelvis under, pushing the hips forward. So you might think that you're in a uh, bent position, but this is pretty much how you're gonna be on a straight line. On the next inhale, bring the knees down. On the exhale, you're bringing your chest down to the floor, rubbing the elbows by your side. Top of the feet on the mat, hands underneath the shoulders. On the next inhale, Peel the chest off the floor, roll the shoulders back, look forward. Exhale, tuck your toes under, come into your hands and knees. Bring the seat towards your heels and you're coming up into a downward dog. Stepping your feet forward, so you're trying to bring your feet hip width apart and the heels down towards the floor. With the legs as straight as you can. Try not to get your legs to tremble. So if that happens, just bend the knees slightly. If your heels are quite high up, bend the knees, push the hips up, and then very gently try to bring the heels down until you're feeling sort of comfortable in this position. Last breath here. Inhale into the count of five. Exhale into the count of five. On the next inhale, you're looking towards your hands, bend the knees, start walking your feet towards your hands. Once you've reached the hands, keep your feet hip width apart, uh, keep your feet together, sorry. Exhale, you're folding forward, letting go of the head. On the next inhale, you're coming up a little bit, engage the core, suck the belly in, bring your hands up towards the ceiling, and exhale, hands by your sides. Okay, we're gonna do one more. So if you find that that was already enough, just stay to that level. Inhale, bring your hands up towards the ceiling, exhale, you're folding forward. Inhale, press through the hands, look forward, exhale, hands on the mat, add a step or jump into a plank. Inhale, set the plank, exhale at a low plank or knees to the floor. If you're doing low plank, you're looking forward, roll the shoulders back, rub the elbows by your ribcage, so you're coming with the chest forward. On the next inhale, push the body through the hands, up dog, straightening the arms. On the exhale, tuck your toes on the downward dog. Again, setting your feet and your legs as you did on the first pose, and now concentrating on the upper torso. Hands as wide as your shoulders, wrists in line with the top of the mat. Roll your shoulders back, squeeze your shoulder blades together, tuck your pelvis under slightly, looking down towards your feet or pointing the top of the head down towards the floor. Now keeping the hands where they are, Push your hands away from you, so you're trying to bring the torso towards the thighs. Making sure you're not overarching on your lower back, so you're tucking your pelvis under. Inhale into the count of five. Exhale into the count of five. And then on the next inhale, you're looking towards your hands. You've got a few options here. You can either do it like the first one, bending the knees, walking your feet forward. You can jump forward. You're coming on your tiptoes, bending the knees, looking where you want to land. On the next inhale, squeeze the thighs together as you jump into the top of the mat. And exhale, you're folding forward. Inhale, engage the core, bring your hands up towards the ceiling. And exhale, hands by your sides. Last one. Inhale, bring your hands up towards the ceiling. Exhale, you're folding forward. Inhale, press through the hands, look forward. Exhale, hands on the mat and a step or jump into a high plank. Inhale, set the plank. Exhale, at a low plank or knees to the floor. 
Inhale, up dog. And exhale, down dog. Lengthen the breath. And now really scan the body. Get into the right technique and position. And then just send your breath into any area that you're feeling uncomfortable in this position. And as you're focusing your attention there, just allow that area to relax a little bit more so that you can let the flow of energy go through that part instead of resisting into the pose. Inhale into the count of five. Exhale into the count of five. And then on the next inhale, you're looking forward at a step or jump to the top of the mat. And exhale, you're folding forward. Inhale, engage the core. Bring your hands up towards the ceiling. And exhale, hands by your sides. Okay? Everybody's okay? So, um, if there's any problem, just come up with the video or the audio and let me know, okay? Um, so, come to the top of the mat. We're starting with the triangle pose. So hands in the, on the hips, feet together. On the next inhale, step with the right foot, two thirds of the mat, turning the toes towards the top left corner, the right corner of the mat. The legs are straight in this pose, and you're trying to emphasize that by pulling the kneecaps up. On the next inhale, hands parallel to the floor. Exhale, lean towards the front leg, making sure that front leg is straight, so you're not bending the front leg. Exhale, hands on the shin or on the inside of the right, left ankle and right hand up towards the ceiling. When you're here on the next inhale, pull the kneecaps up, making sure the legs are nice and straight. Lengthen the left side of your rib cage. On the exhale, turn the torso towards your right, looking either straight ahead or towards your right hand. And now try to um, Really lock that shoulder uh, joint. Roll the shoulder back. Squeeze the shoulder blade towards the spine, making sure the right hand is still pointing up towards the ceiling so it's not coming back. Last breath here. Inhale into the count of five. Exhale into the count of five. On the next inhale, you're looking down towards the floor. Exhale, bring your hands parallel to the floor. Inhale, hands on the hips. Exhale, just step into the front of the mat. If you want, just give yourself a little bit of a shake, feet together, hands on the hips on the next inhale, P uh, step back with your left foot, turning the toes towards the top left corner of the mat. On the next inhale, pull the kneecaps up, bring your arms parallel to the floor, exhale, leaning forward, hand on the shin or on the inside of the ankle, left hand up towards the ceiling. On the next inhale, pull the kneecaps up, Extend your right side of the body. On the exhale, turn the torso towards your left. And then roll the left shoulder back, pointing the left hand up towards the ceiling. So the movement comes from the shoulder, not the arm. Inhale into the count of five. Exhale into the count of five. Make sure you're still engaging the kneecaps so that you're really trying to keep your legs as straight as you can. And then on the next inhale, looking down towards the floor, exhale, bring your hands parallel to the floor. Inhale, hands on the hips, and exhale, you step into the front of the mat. Give yourself a little bit of a shift. Okay. Feet together, hands on the hips, step with your, um, no, actually, uh, we're gonna have your feet hip width apart. And we're gonna do the chair pose first, okay? So you're, you're placing your hands in front of your chest and now imagine you've got a chair about a foot away from the back of your feet that you want to sit on, okay? So when you're doing the chair pose, you don't want to go so that your knees are over your toes, you want to step back, okay? Uh, first we're gonna do it with the feet hip width apart and then we're gonna do it with the feet together. So hands in front of your chest, sit back, so that your knees are still over your ankles, tilt your pelvis under, open the chest, and then you can bring your arms up towards the ceiling. If you're finding that this is already enough, just stay with your hands in front of your chest. Tuck your pelvis under, squat a little bit more. One more breath here. Inhale into the count of five. 
and exhale into the count of five. On the next inhale, straighten the legs, bring your hands in the, on the waist, give yourself a little bit of a shake. <coughs> Feet together, we're gonna do a variation afterwards of the chair. Step with your right foot, quite a long stance, we're gonna do warrior two, and you're pointing the toes of the right foot towards the edge of the mat. And now you're placing the weight onto the edge of the right foot so that you're lifting the inside of your right arch, turning the right leg out, and then focus onto the front leg, you're bending the front leg, eventually with the warrior two pose, you want to have the thigh parallel to the floor. You still want to see the big toes, so the tendency of this leg is to come in, guide that knee out. Sitting between the two legs, on the next inhale, bring your arms parallel to the floor, palms facing down, roll the shoulder back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, and look towards your left middle finger. Now, refocus your attention on the right foot, place the weight onto the edge of the foot, lifting that inside arch and now you're focusing on the left leg rolling the left knee out to the sides feeling that stretch into the into the groin and into the hips rolling your shoulder back turning the torso slightly towards the right making sure that left knee doesn't come in one more breath here inhale into the count of five exhale into the count of five on the next inhale, straighten your leg for a second, turn the palm up towards the ceiling, the right hand goes down onto the right leg. And then bend your leg again on the inhale, on the exhale, suck the belly in, bring your arm all the way over into a reverse warrior, looking up towards the ceiling. As you're sucking the belly in, engaging the core muscle, you're protecting your lower back as you're doing the micro bend. One more breath here, inhale into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. On the next inhale, bring your hands parallel to the floor, straighten the front leg, hands on the hips, take a short step towards the front, and then you're stepping back to the front, okay? So work on the breath, work on fo focusing yourself onto the poses, so you're in the moment and you're doing meditation that on the long run is going to help your mood, okay? Give yourself a bit, a little bit more of a shake. We're going to do it on the other side. Feet together, hands on the hips. You're stepping with the left foot out so that the toes are pointing towards the edge of the mat. Weight onto the edge of the foot. Lift the, the inside of your arch. And then on the next inhale, bend the front knee and you still want to see the big toes. So the tendency is for people to lean forward, sitting between the legs, that puts even more, more uh, weight onto the hips. So that's why people are leaning forward, because then they take off the, the sort of the stretch, okay? And then on the next inhale, bring your hands parallel to the floor, palms facing down towards the floor, roll the shoulder back, squeeze the shoulder blades together, looking towards your right middle finger. Okay, so now refocus on the next inhale, on the edge of the left foot, placing the weight there, lifting the inside of your left foot. And then on the exhale as well, you're focusing onto the right leg, making sure that right knee is guiding out, you're still able to see your big toes. One more breath here, inhale into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. On the next inhale, straighten the front leg. Left hand by the leg, right hand palms facing up towards the ceiling. On the next inhale, bend the front leg, sliding that left hand down. You're bringing your right arm up as you're uh, contracting your abdominals, looking up towards the ceiling. Being and into the count of five. Exhale into the count of five. And then on the next inhale, bring your hands parallel to the floor, straighten the front leg, hands on the hips, and on the exhale, take a short stance, and then step back to the front of the mat. Give yourself a little bit of a shake. Okay. 
we're going to do a variation of the chair pose, okay? This time the feet are together, ankles together, and as we're sitting back, we're pressing the knees together. And then we're going to do a bit of a twist. So make sure that when you're twisting, the knee that you're twisting away from doesn't come forward. So you don't want to have this movement here. And so you're pulling the left hip back, okay? So feet together, hands on the hips. You're now bringing your hands in front of your chest and you're sitting back. Knees together. Now pull the left hip back as you're bringing your left elbow on the outside of the right knee. If you're struggling with that, just bring your arm wherever you can on the outside of the right, of the right leg. And then on the next inhale, turn the torso towards your right, making sure that left knee doesn't come forward. So pull the left hip back, trying to bring the hands in front of your chest so the hands are not on the side, they're in front of your chest in a prayer position, one elbow on top of the other. Last breath here, in and into the count of five, looking either straight ahead or towards the ceiling. Exit into the count of five. On the next inhale, bring your hands to the front, straighten the knees, hands on the hips. Just release your legs a little bit. We're going to do it on the other side. On the next inhale, hands in front of your chest, sit back, hook the right elbow on the outside of the left knee. Otherwise, right arm on the outside, left arm on the hip, and you're turning towards your left. Otherwise, if your hands are in front of your chest, turn the torso so that your hands come on front of your chest, and one elbow stacked on top of the other. Either looking straight ahead or towards the ceiling, pulling the right knee back, in and into the count of five, Exhale into the count of five. And then on the next inhale, come back to the center. Straighten the legs, hands on the hips. Give yourself a little bit of a shake. Okay. <clears throat> so, um, we're coming to the top of the mat with the feet hip feet apart. Hands on the hips. On the next inhale, bring your hands parallel to the floor. Exhale, interlace the fingers behind your back. Now roll your shoulder back, squeeze the shoulder blades together. And as you're folding forward on the next inhale, opening the chest, you're bringing your arms over your head, keeping your shoulder blades squeezed. Your option is that you can still have your knees bent and rest the torso on the thighs, letting go of the head, or you can straighten the legs Squeezing the shoulder blades together. In and into the count of five. Exhale into the count of five. Now just scan the body quickly. See where you feel the tension. Direct the breath and your mind into that area. Consciously trying to relax it and allowing it to open up. One more breath here, in and into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. On the next inhale, come all the way up, place your hands on the hips and just, we're going to go into the next pose, which is the balancing pose, okay? So I've chosen a difficult balancing pose, um, which is called Bird of Paradise, okay? So I'm going to show you what it looks like, the full position, and then I'm going to give you an easier version. So you're coming with the feet slightly apart. You're placing the right hand in between. You're coming into the tiptoes of the right foot. You're interlacing the fingers behind your back, and then you're coming up into the left leg. Once you're standing up, then you can straighten the right leg, okay? If you don't want to do that, <laughs> the easier version is that you're balancing yourself onto the left leg and you're grabbing hold with both hands of the knee, trying to bring that knee towards the chest. And then you're bringing your hands behind the thigh, bringing the leg slightly to the side. Oops. And then you try to straighten the leg, okay? If you want to do the full pose, have your feet slightly apart, 
fold forward, right hand in between the legs. Bring your weight onto the left foot, tiptoes of the right, interlace the fingers behind your back, coming up onto the left leg, coming up into a standing position, okay? Now you can keep your leg as it is, or you can try and see if you can straighten the leg a little bit. And then just bend the leg and release it. If you were doing the easier pose, just release the leg down towards the floor. Give yourself a little bit of a shake. And if we're doing it on the other side, I start with the easy pose, balance yourself onto the right leg, hug the left knee towards your chest, and then if you want, hands underneath the knee, and then you're trying to straighten the knee, bringing your leg out to the side slightly, okay? Otherwise, bend forward, Left hand now in the middle of the legs, transfer your weight onto the right leg, tiptoes of the left, grab hold of the hands behind your back, coming all the way up, and you need to be able to stand straight, okay? So if you cannot stand straight with the leg straight, then just keep your leg bent so that you're getting used to this position, and then if you want, you can straighten the leg. And then bend the leg, release the leg, and you're coming all the way down. Not an easy one, I admit, okay? All right, we're coming to the floor. So you're coming into the mat. First, we're gonna do a back bend, which is the camel pose, okay? So double your mat a couple of times so that you can create a little bit of padding for your knees. Place your knees onto the padded part and the knees are hip width apart, okay? You're on the tiptoes of your foot, feet. Now, the, the purpose of the camel pose is to push the hips forward as you're elongating the back, you're coming backward, okay? So the ideal way is to have your hands with the palms facing up towards the back, okay? So the fingers are pointing up. If you cannot do that behind your back, so in this position here, you can achieve the same thing. So basically you're having your hands like that because when you're pushing the hips forward, you're pulling the skin up so that you can sort of bend backwards, okay? You can still do the same thing with the hands pointing down towards the floor, but you're gonna do the same thing as you're pushing the hands up, the, the, the palm of the hands up, so that you're basically creating a, a space on the lower back, okay? So on the next inhale, push the hips forward, engage the front of the abdominal, so suck the belly in, and then as you're pushing your skin up towards the back, you're bending backward, looking up towards the ceiling. You're squeezing the elbows together, so the elbows are pointing towards the back of you. And then on the next inhale, come back up, top of the feet on the floor, sit on your heels, one hand on the chest, the other one on the lower abdomen. And you can sort of go slightly from side to side. We're gonna do it one more time, okay? So you're coming up. Now if you find that those, this was already difficult for you, just repeat it for the first time. Just make sure that when you're, even if your hands are like this, you're pushing the hips forward, pushing the skin up and bending backwards slightly, okay? So if you want to go further, the top of the feet are on the mat, you're placing your right hand on the right heel, left hand on the left heel, push the hips forward and looking up towards the ceiling. To come out of the pose, you're tucking the chin to the chest, pushing the hips forward, and then you're coming down. And then on, roll back the, the, the mat into its original position, and we're coming into child pose. So we're sitting on the heels, the top of the feet are on the floor, and you're folding forward with your arms, resting your torso on the thighs, and you're resting your forehead onto the floor. You're trying to sit as much as you can on your, on your heels so that you've got 
a nice stretch and release onto your lower back. And now very gently come into your hands and knees. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to lift, so you're putting the weight onto the left leg and you're lifting your right leg off the floor so that the thigh is parallel to the floor, the knee is bent and the foot is almost as if you're trying to pull the sole of the foot on towards the ceiling. So you're flexing that right foot. And now we're going to pulse, okay? So as you're pulsing, you're pushing that thigh up towards the ceiling trying to bring the foot a little bit closer to the ceiling. Pulse, come back to the neutral, pulse, come back to the neutral, two more, pulse, neutral and pulse. On the next inhale, bring your right knee down towards the floor, come back into child pose for a breath. Inhale into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. On the next inhale, come back onto your force, bring your weight slightly onto the right leg, lifting the left leg off the floor, thigh parallel to the floor. Make sure your arms are straight, equal weight on the arms. Point the toes down towards the floor so that you're flexing that foot. And then on the next inhale, pulse up, exhale, relax. Inhale, pulse, exhale, relax. Inhale, pulse up. Relax, inhale, press the left leg up towards the ceiling and relax. Come back into hands and knees and then just wobble your tail. Now we're releasing the lower back. Okay, and come back into sitting on your heels. Sit either side of the feet coming up. So we're coming into a squatted position. We're gonna try and do the crow, okay? So the crow um, is quite scary because if you lose the balance, you're basically gonna fall forward. So you have, you're having a couple of pillows so that if you end up that you lose balance and you fall forward, at least you're, at least you're not smashing your nose onto the floor, okay? You can have a block underneath your feet, so you're, you're sitting your heels onto the block and that helps you to go upward a little bit, okay? Now, what you want to do when you're doing the crow, you're trying to create, to squeeze the, the rib cage towards the pelvis. So you're doing this movement here and that also helps you to engage the abdominals, okay? So you're doing this all the time. You're curving the back away from you. But you're also not looking down, you're looking forward, okay? So when you're looking forward, you're basically not gonna fall forward, okay? So let's do it. Now measure yourself so that when you're coming forward, if you land, you land on the pillow. Your hands are nice and spread and they're slightly turned inwards, okay? So you want to have the V in between the index and the thumb facing forward. So that's how your hands are, and your, are, they are as wide as the mat. Okay, the hands, the arms are inside the legs, and you're starting now, coming on your tiptoes, lifting the bum up, but you're really hugging the knee on the shoulder, okay? Looking forward, to crunch the abdominal so the pelvic comes as close as you can towards the rib cage, and then go forward and back. It's almost like you're playing with this, you're playing with the balance, looking forward, don't look down. And then you get to a point, squeeze the knees towards the, the armpit, where you can press, play, um, lift one leg up, and then maybe the other. And then you're coming back. And then maybe next time you can do a little bit more. And then when you're getting it to do a little bit more, you're bringing your feet towards your, your bum. Then you're coming back. If you're not feeling confident, just get 
to the point that you're squeezing the pelvis towards the rib cage and you're going back and forward. When you've had enough, squat back, roll your, uh, your wrists, and you can also give yourself a little bit of a stretch, stretching the arms, palms facing down, stretching the, to the fingers down towards the floor, turning the palm up, stretching the top four fingers, you're going to do it on the other side, and then just roll from side to side, bringing the fingers towards you, stepping back, and if we want, we can do it one more time. If you're fed up and you want to do it on the floor, you can do it on the floor where you're rolling back, knees towards your armpits, palms as if they are on the ceiling, and then you're lifting the bum up, crunching up, but looking up with the chin towards the ceiling, okay? Otherwise, we're gonna do it one more time. And if you've got any questions, please do ask. Unmute yourself and ask, okay? The hands are slightly out, hugging the knees to the armpit, rolling forward and back. So the shin is gonna rest onto the upper arm, okay? And then you can see if you can come up into a full pose. And then roll back, forward and back. I think that's enough, okay? <laughs> roll your wrists. Come into a seated position. You can also get rid of the pillow if you want to. And then just bend the knees. We're just gonna pay attention to the wrist for a second. So roll the wrists either side. First you're doing it in one direction and then the other. Extend the right arm, point the fingers down. Bring your palm up, point the fingers down. Have your arm straight. And then you do it on the other side. And then bring your hands in front of your chest and roll this, the prayer down towards the floor. So prayer with the hands facing up and then prayer with the hands facing down without bringing the shoulders up, okay? One more time. And that's it. I think we've got enough for the wrist, okay? The crow, because it's a balancing pose, is quite a complicated thing and you need to have the technique so that you're not... Uh, scared about doing it but it also initially is quite painful on the wrist but it's quite strengthening on the wrist so if you had any problems with that or even with RSI where you've got repetitive strain injury they're quite good because they're stretching the arms in a way that you normally don't get it so try to work on it even though you're finding it difficult it took me about a year and a half to get the crow okay so I'm not expecting everybody to get it straight away but it's something that you need to practice on a regular Point, on a regular level, point to basically get to the level, okay? All right, so come to the straight, stretch the, uh, the legs in front of you, release the flesh away from your buttocks. If you need to sit on the block, sit on the block, straighten the legs in front of you, point the toes up towards the ceiling, hands either side of the bum with the fingers pointing down towards the floor, the, the, the toes. And then recollect yourself. So basically, we're re engaging the core muscle, squeezing the bum hole, sucking the belly in, opening the chest, tucking the chin under, rolling the shoulder back, bending the elbow slightly, and rolling the shoulder toward the, be the elbows towards the back so that you're opening the chest. In and into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. I bet everybody. You didn't do the count on your five in and exit of the crow. I didn't either. You're too focused on not falling. On the next inhale, bring your hands up towards the ceiling, suck the belly in, and on the exhale, you're folding forward. Now you want to have your abdominals engaged at all time. Tuck your chin under when you feel like your lower abdominals are starting to go. And then on the next inhale, press the knees down onto the floor, suck the belly in, and pulling on the leg, on the hands, wherever they are on the legs, you're actively bringing the torso towards the thigh a little bit more. Even into the count of five. 
and exhaling to the count of five. And then on the next inhale, come all the way up. Okay, I'm gonna go into an angle so you can see the pose. On the next inhale, bring your right knee towards the chest and then you're bringing that foot further out than your hip, so it's quite further out, and then it is about a hand breath away from your bum and from the thigh, okay? Now bring your right shoulder back. This is when you might need a strap or the belt. So you're grabbing hold of this and you're placing the belt behind you so that you can grab it easily, okay? So you're holding it with your hands. Now, on the next inhale, you're, you're bringing your right shoulder on the inside of the right knee, but you're hugging that right knee up towards the shoulder so the knee doesn't come out to the side. And then you've got two options here. The easier option is that hands are, the hands are either side of the left leg, you're pointing the toes up, and on the inhale, you're opening the chest, engaging the core, on the exhale, you're walking your hands away from you. If you want to go further and do the bind behind your back, you're extending the right arm, palms facing away from you. Hug that right knee towards the chest. As you're leaning forward, you're trying to bring the armpit in front of the shin. As you're wrapping that arm behind you, you can grab hold of the hands behind you. Otherwise, grab hold of the belt, grab it with the other hand and try to bring the hands together, okay? When you're here, you can try and see if you can go all the way down. Inhale into the count of five. Exhale into the count of five. Refocus onto the pose. Scan the body slightly. See where you're feeling the tension. Send the breath and your mind into that area. And just allow that area to relax and open up. Last breath here. Inhale into the count of five and exhale into the count of five. And then on the next inhale, release the bind. Otherwise, start walking your hands back to the center. Hug the right knee towards the chest and release it down onto the floor. Straighten the right leg, point the toes up towards the ceiling. Hug the, right, the left knee towards the chest. Place the left foot at least a hand breath away from the inner thigh and a hand breath away from the bum, okay? So the foot should be wider than the hip, okay? On, on the next inhale, you're bringing your left shoulder on the inside of the left knee. My left bum cheek is off the floor. And then two options here. First option. Hands either side of the right leg, inhale, suck the belly in, open the chest, and exhale, you're folding forward. Otherwise, bring the belt on the side of the left leg, extend the left arm with the palms facing away from you, and then as you're leaning forward, you're trying to wrap the armpit in front of the shin, wrapping the arms around, grabbing hold of the hands. So the palm has to face away from you, so you can wrap the arm easily behind, okay? And then on the next inhale, suck the belly in, open the chest, on the exhale, try to see if you can fold forward. In and into the count of five, exhale into the count of five. Really, it doesn't matter if you're up here or you're for, if you're down there onto the leg, you just want to make sure that you're folding forward at the hips and that you're engaging the abdominals at all times, okay? Direct your attention and focus onto the areas that feel tight. Breathe into that area, focus into that area. Last breath here. Inhale into the count of five. And exhale into the count of five. And on the next inhale, undo the bind, walk your hands back to the center if you were doing the other pose, hug the left knee towards the chest and release it. One more pose and then we're going to start relaxing. Okay, so hug the right knee towards the chest, 
and then with your left hand you're grabbing hold of the edge of the right foot so your hand goes on top of the right foot and it grabs hold of the edge of the right foot your left leg is straight and you're pointing the toes up towards the ceiling now suck the belly in create some space in between the thigh and the belly so that you can turn the torso towards your right you can have your right hand behind you and then if you can lift that right arm up towards the ceiling with the thumb facing up towards the ceiling now when you're here see if you can stretch the right leg looking towards your right thumb inhale into the count of five exhale into the count of five you're pointing the left toes up towards the ceiling and now suck the belly in engage the core muscles lengthen the spine on the inhale on the exhale turn the torso towards your right in and into the count of five exhale into the count of five scan your body now see where you've got any part of the body that feels uncomfortable and direct your breath here opening up that area and then on the next inhale turn the body turn the torso towards the front bend the right leg and release the right foot extend the right leg down onto the floor other side hug the left knee towards your chest right hand goes on top of the left foot grabbing hold of the edge of the left foot right toes up towards the ceiling straightening the right leg left hand behind you on the next inhale suck the belly in turn the torso towards your left lift your left arm up towards the ceiling thumb facing up and then see if you can straighten that left leg inhale into the count of five exit into the count of five on the inhale you're sucking the belly in lengthening the spine on the exhale you're turning the torso towards your left scan your body direct your breath onto any area that feels uncomfortable as you're doing this pose and just allow it to relax last breath here and then on the next inhale turn the torso towards the front bend the left leg release the left foot and come back into a sitting so bend the knees come into the middle of the mat place your hands in front of your knees roll back onto your back hugging the knees to the chest hugging the chin to the chest so your neck is nice and long you can also lift the bum off the floor as you're hugging the knees to the chest so you're releasing the front of the hips and you're also releasing your lower back you can rock slightly from side to side and then keep your right knee hugged extend the left leg down onto the floor bring your right arm out towards the side with the palms facing up towards the ceiling and bring your left hand on the outside of the right knee and bring the right leg down onto the left side of this of the mat looking towards your right hand try to keep both shoulders down onto the floor again just scan the body with your uh, mind and just travel into an ear that feels tight and just direct your breath there and as you're allowing this area to relax see what changes into the body And then on the next inhale come back to the center swap the legs over so you're hugging the left knee extending the right leg left arm out to the side palms facing up right hand on top of the knee holding the side of the knee and then bringing the knee down onto the floor looking towards your left shoulder your left hand
and then on the next inhale come back into the center hug the knees to the chest and we're coming into the last pose which is the shavasana so we're gonna come into the corpse pose so you're extending the legs down onto the mat having your feet as wide as the mat and flopping your feet to the side tilt your pelvis under so as much as your lower back is touching the floor if not all of it roll your shoulders back hands by your side slightly away from the body with the palms facing up towards the ceiling tuck your chin under so your neck is nice and long you should be relatively comfortable in this pose we're going to be staying here for at least five minutes so you can keep a pillow underneath your head for your neck or if your back is hurting in this position bend the knees feet on the mat as wide as the mat and support the knees with each other okay Try to stay in the same position. Now we're, we're basically gonna try to just relax the body one bit at a time. We're gonna do the same thing as we did during the poses. As I bring my, your, my, your attention to a certain part of the body, bring your focus and mind there and try to consciously relax the body all the way from the feet all the way up to the head. So relax your feet, relax your ankles, Relax your shins, relax your calves, relax your knee joints, relax the back of the thighs and relax the front of the thighs. Relax your hips, going all the way from the hips across the glutes into the middle of your glutes and then going under and over your reproductive organs into the pelvic area. Just scan the pelvic area for a little bit and see if there's any tension there and just consciously try to relax it. Traveling up the lower abdomen, so the area between the pelvis and the belly button, and then up into the upper abdomen from the belly button towards the rib cage, traveling up into the rib cage, scanning the ribs and see if there's any tightness in any areas in between the rib cage relaxing that areas coming up into the chest the breasts the clavicles and the top of the shoulders and now we're coming down the back either side of the spine starting from the top of the shoulders the space in between the shoulder blades relaxing the shoulder blades relaxing the middle of the back and relaxing your lower back coming into the waist area so the sides of the body Relaxing the waist all the way up to the sides of the body into the armpits. Again, seeing if there's any area of the rib cage that feels uncomfortable. Just become more and more aware of your body. And now relax your shoulder joint from the armpit, the front of the shoulder, the top of the shoulder, and the back of the shoulder. Relax your upper arms, relax your elbows, relax your forearms. Relax your wrists and relax your hands. Coming back to the top of the shoulders, relax the back of the neck, relax the front of the neck. Relax your chin, relax your lower jaw and your mouth. Relax your upper lip. Just scan the jaw and the mouth and see if there's any tension that you hold there. Try to relax this area. Relax the nose. Relax your cheeks all the way from the nose across the cheeks into the ears and relaxing the ears. Relax your eye sockets. Relax your temples. Relax your forehead. Relax the scalp and the whole of your head. And now I just want you to scan the body a little bit like you were doing it during the poses. It's almost as if you've got a printer scanner that you're scanning your body from the head all the way down into the toes. And if you find any area of the body that feels uncomfortable, or if you remind yourself of any area of the body that felt uncomfortable while you were practicing today, just focus your breath and your mind into that area for a few breaths. And with every breath that you take, just send healing and warmth and healing into that area.
and then very gently just start bringing your body back into being aware of the whole body take a deep breath in through your nose and sigh out through your mouth take a deep breath in through your nose and as you sigh out through your mouth start wiggling your toes Take a deep breath in through your nose and as you sigh out through your mouth, start wiggling your fingers. If you want, you can bring your feet together, your arms over your head. Squeeze everything that you've got and then release it. Starting to hug one knee at a time towards the chest. And then start rocking back and forward until you're coming up into a cross-legged position onto the mat. Bring your hands in front of your chest, close your eyes. Just make a mental note of how often you were able to just connect with your body, scan the body, direct your breath and intention there and how often your mind just wandered off. And just remind yourself of your intention that you set out at the beginning of the class and thank you for practicing today. Namaste.